Hey, hello everyone. Suika here, and today we are going to be doing a bike check on my self 2K17 fixed gear bike. Okay, so let's first start at the cockpit. Uh, I've got some Labichi stem. I don't even know if it's real. Got the 110 mm negative 17 wake stem. Sagmit top cup, top cap. Max zone headset. Uh, normal or unbranded uh, seat post it's been polished from blue uh, I've got a pretty pretty fucked up uh, velo saddle okay got a normal carbon bar tape it's what is called in Shopee normal aluminum bar end with a screw okay let's then now go to the frame set so it is a cell 2k17 can denote it from here so 2k17 size 52 uh, it's been uh, wrapped look with a top coat or clear coat yeah it's pretty good it's steel high tensile I think yeah I've got a unknown bottom bracket I, I mean literally unknown I don't know the brand self v2 crank set 48 teeth 17 tooth cogs uh, generic cogs or unbranded cogs I've got a DID chain the rusty actually what the fuck uh, I've got some Novatec hubs Novatec hubs steel spokes by Ragusa uh, Araya rims I don't even know if it's legit Araya but yeah, it's a 36 holes front and rear 32C black cat tires black cat tires in with the front a press the valve got some normal alloy pedals and a homemade strap also have a DIY bottle, bottle cage holder as you can see it's got a MOB or mob uh, aluminum bottle cage and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the uh, whole bike build so I do have plans for this uh, one of them being polishing this making it a uh, Raw steel look with a clear clear coat so it doesn't corrode. Uh, for the wheel set, I plan on changing to 24 20 24 holes arrow wheel set, or if not, I'd probably just keep the Nobatech hubs and uh, find uh, find those rims with uh, with a brake line because this one has no brake lines. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the tires tire size I don't plan on changing them even though they're kind of harder to skid but now that I've gotten used to it maybe it's easier yeah cleats I don't have any uh, I, I don't trust cleats yet so yeah uh, probably what else I'll probably go ahead and change these to 50 or 49 teeth probably 52 I think I heard that 52 has more uh, uh, gearing options with uh, a lot of skid patches yeah, either 49 or 52 and for the cogs depends if I don't change the chain ring I'd probably stick with a uh, 14 tooth cogs uh, with the spokes I if I if they corrode anyway uh, I'll change them to stainless steel so that they are better quality but yeah, overall, it's a pretty good bike. It's quite light. I don't know the exact weight of it, but actually, no, it's heavy. <laughs> it's not that heavy, you know. It's a good bike for training your speed and all, because you're uh, forced to deal with a heavier bike. And uh, yeah, it's a fixie as well. No brakes, no gears. So it's pretty good for training. If you want to gain speed, good. it's better to train with a heavier uh, bike. Once you go to the lighter bike and you know you can get the feel of it, you'd probably ride faster that way. So yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.